Mary Jo Rupp Myers has spent more than 40 years helping military families and others in need. Born in Abilene, Kansas and raised in Manhattan, Mary Jo says she grew up with a barn-raising spirit of volunteerism learned from her parents. She has a special memory of her mother who was terminally ill with leukemia. I still remember stopping on campus for some students to hurriedly cross the street and she said, I wish I had half of their energy. And I said, Mom, what would you do? Thinking she would go play golf or something, which she loved to do. She said, well, I'd see which one of my neighbors needed some help. And that still touches my heart. Mary Jo met Richard Myers at a fraternity football game. She graduated from Kansas State University with a Bachelor of Arts in English in 1964 and married Dick in 1965 at K-State's All Faiths Chapel. Dick joined the Air Force and their life as world travelers began, moving 26 times. Their three children, Nicole, Aaron, and Rich, and six grandchildren now all live in the Washington, D.C. area. No matter where they were stationed, Mary Jo got involved. She taught secondary school English, then adult education, and then teaching English as a second language, and being a director of volunteers for one of the school systems. She also taught piano. True fulfillment comes from reaching out to help others. And I also re love Martin Luther King's quote, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? And if you see a need, just get involved. According to her children, Mary Jo leads by example, truly selfless and caring for people. They joke that if you want to meet more people in your neighborhood, have mom walk your dog around the block. She'll come back talking about her three new friends around the corner that we've never spoken to. Mary Jo serves on the board of trustees for the Fisher House Foundation, an organization that provides homes where military family members can stay free of charge near military and VA medical centers while loved ones are being treated. Mary Considine, Fisher House Foundation's Chief of Staff, says, We look to Mary Jo to help guide the Foundation's mission with class, integrity, and a deep love of our nation's heroes. She was also instrumental in establishing the Hero Miles program operated by Fisher House Foundation that has used donated frequent flyer miles to purchase more than 70,000 tickets for families of hospitalized military members to visit loved ones who are ill or injured. Mary Jo's daughter, Erin, says that her mom taught her that we can each make our corner of the world better through the gift of time and to always look for opportunities to fill a need or make it better for someone. One small incident can be the inspiration for a lifetime. You start something and it can grow into something you never anticipated. Mary Jo has served on many councils, including the Women's Initiative Policy Advisory Council, the President's Council on Service and Civic Participation, and the National Military Family Association Advisory Council. Her commitment to the military is evident and was formally recognized by the U.S. Navy when she was selected to be the sponsor of the USS Somerset. The ship was commissioned to honor the lives lost on Flight 93 during the 9-11 terrorist attack. One of her gifts that sails around the world is a quilt that has a square to commemorate each of those lost lives. Mary Jo is the founding member of Thanks USA's Advisory Council, which provides educational scholarships to children and spouses for those in the military. She's also on the advisory board of Medisend International, an organization that offers education, medical equipment, and supplies to charitable hospitals and clinics around the world. Mary Jo remains humble about her many achievements. However, she is most proud of a humanitarian organization she helped to co-found called the Ashiana Foundation which helps street kids in Afghanistan. Ashiana has trained, nourished, and mentored more than 80,000 children and young adults. Mary Jo says that education is a gift that can't be taken away. It can be what separates a child trapped in a cycle of poverty and violence from one with a chance at a better future. Ashiana's board of directors president, Sonia Yunosi, categorized Mary Jo as a compassionate, wise, and caring person. She adds that Mary Jo has been indispensable in providing guidance and valuable ideas for new initiatives and programs. Mary Jo previously served on the K-State Alumni Association Board of Directors and currently serves on the Kansas State University Foundation Board of Trustees and as a co-chair for the Innovation and Inspiration Campaign. At his inauguration ceremony, President Myers said this about Mary Jo. And I'm really proud of the great work that Mary Jo has done on behalf of organizations and boards and in the many places we have lived. And we're 
we're lucky now because we're both enjoying working together for our mutual love of Kansas State University. After visiting Afghanistan, Mary Jo said, I met a, a little boy when we were, took some school supplies and he came over to thank me and he looked up with those big poignant eyes and said, please don't forget us. And I'm not, I'm not forgetting them. Mary Jo does not forget what she learned from her parents and is still caring for others. The K-State Alumni Association is pleased to recognize Mary Jo Myers, honoring her commitment to volunteerism in the service of others.